Day, Mothering Sunday, wherever you are in the world, can be a minefield, particularly for younger people. So today we are doing some very simple, very, very simple, because I only do simple, as you know, um, floral decorations. First of all, I would just like to point out some bits and pieces that you can actually get if you're younger and you're out shopping for your mother for Mother's Day. Um, this is it's just a candle holder from TK Maxx. It cost me six euro and I'm a candle. I just found a candle in the house and it's actually rather beautiful. And you can use it for flowers afterwards. Okay. This is the, um, the jam jar that we did last week or the week before with the bracelet on the top. See that there? We've just put some flowers in there and whatever the flowers cost you is all that's going to cost you for a Mother's Day present. And I have to tell you, your mom will be chuffed that you've actually made an effort and gone out and actually put something together for her. Let's put it that way. Now these, oh, what now? These are from Marks and Spencer. They're just tea light holders, but we'll just put a couple of little roses in each one. These are about three euro in Marks and Spencer. But the idea here is not just to go in and buy a bunch of flowers and hand them to your mum. Actually do something that's just a little more thoughtful. That's my thinking on it. So I'm going to show you something I did earlier today. And then um, I'm going to show you how to do it for yourself. This is, this is big actually. This is a little box of roses. And they are real roses that I put in there today with some oasis and some water. I obviously lined the inside of the box with some plastic paper or some plastic bag and then I've soaked some oasis and then I just popped the flowers in on top. The flowers cost me six euro in Marks and Spencer and the box cost me euro fifty in um, an art and hobby shop. So you can just pop the lid on and hand them to your mum and she won't know what they are until she opens them. And there we are inside some real roses. Now, I am going to show you, we are going to make one here together. This is a box, um, which you'll see at the beginning of this video. You will have seen at the beginning of this video. I painted the box last night. I painted it navy blue because I like navy blue. Now, I've got, I've lined the box with a plastic thin liner because I figured it wouldn't leak. I've also soaked my oasis in some water and it's full, see, all the way there. Now, we're going to put some roses in here. Uh, I suppose I should have cut these beforehand. Now, again, we're going to put some greenery off. We're not going to, uh, oh, sorry, we need to cut some more greenery off. We can have the greenery later on. So we need to cut them down quite short again. Let's have a little look here. Oh, I need to cut them a lot shorter than that. Here we go. See, that's how short they need to be. Now, oh, these are going to be very nice. Let's have a little look. Sorry. There we go. And there. Oh, I like the idea that we've got some green sticking up there too. So if we do this all the way across, oh, these are very nice. Ugh. Again, not particularly expensive flowers. You can get them in, well, I've got a Marks and Spencer's because they tend to last a bit longer when you buy them in there. But you can get them in uh, Dunn Stores or Aldi or Lidl or just go to your local florist. I always think people think that you spend a lot of money when you go to a florist. But to be fair, florists are really, really good. And they will, if you ask them to, they will put um, bouquets and stuff together for you. If there's anything in particular you like, they'll be very, very good in putting stuff together for you. So
so we'll just you can fast forward this if you want because I will just be cutting some roses in here as we go along or if you want you can watch it might be therapeutic now I oh, need to do that a bit shorter I think and I need to move some of these around okay now sorry 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 lot of water in here so they are um so, so they last a long time without you having to replenish the water or anything like that okay there we go i think i have a spare one here Because I'm going to add some pink roses as well, just to um, just to brighten this up a little bit. There we go. This one is a bit funny. It really doesn't want to go down there at all, at all. Now we need to space these out slightly, a little bit more, because they will open up as the week goes on going to give these to my mother-in-law later this evening. She'll think I'm marvellous. She thinks I'm marvellous already. Now, we're just going to put some extra roses there. Just hold on a pair of seconds. I should have had these over there, but I didn't. Now, there we go. These will just fill this out. And I like the idea that we have different colours. It's not everything is the same colour because it tends to get a bit boring. And the one thing we are not people here in Whitehall is boring. Now, here we go again. And another one here. Okay. And that is us all filled up there. Now, what we've got to do now is we have to cut the plastic bag because we don't want the plastic bag being visible to everyone or everything. So hold on just a moment. One second. I think I might add some greenery in there too. Okay, we'll cut all of this off here. And you can see we've done. I've tied some string around the front of it just to hold the lid there. Now I'm going to squash these down just a little bit here like so because I really don't want the um, oasis leaking or making the box weaker. But what I do have is I've got some gold coloured um, tissue paper that I'm going to pop around it as well so that it looks very expensive. This whole thing here has cost me about eight euro. So if you were to order this, see this? If you were to order this online, it would cost you probably, uh, it probably cost you about 70 euro. Now, and all it takes, seriously, all it takes is a little effort to go to the florist to pick up some oasis and uh, just put it together. Now, you don't have to paint them. You can get boxes like this that are already decorated and stuff. Or you can paint them yourself. You can paint them any colour you want. I was going to paint it a gold colour, but I just decided that the navy blue was really much better. So I did that. And I've got some gold coloured tissue paper that I'm going to put around it 
and I will show you the finished article when we've done. There you go. Okay. Now, off you go to the florist and get some flowers for your mum for Mother's Day. Okay, thanks for watching.